Hello. Welcome to the introduction to debugging embedded Linux systems training series. Linux is well adopted within embedded systems, but debugging Linux systems issues can be overwhelming. The debugging embedded Linux systems training series tries to assist by teaching several techniques for debugging kernel issues that may be encountered in embedded Linux systems. The series starts by providing a short overview of Linux. You will then learn about the kernel logging system, print K and dynamic debug APIs, how to locate device driver source code, and understanding how to interpret kernel oops logs. To access this training series, go to ti.com and type slash processor SDK. This will bring you to the processor SDK portal page. Scroll down and find the device that you are using that is supported by Processor SDK Linux. Click on that device and it will take you to the Processor SDK page for that particular device, in this case the AM57 Citara processors. Click on Training and Support, locate the Debugging Embedded Linux Systems Training Series. This brings you to the Debugging Embedded Linux Systems Training Series page. The series consists of two primary parts. The first is the Debugging Embedded Linux Systems section, which includes the lessons we discussed previously. Kernel Overview, Logging System Overview, Print K and Variations, Dynamic Debug, Locating Device Driver Source Code, and Understanding Kernel Oops Logs. The second section is How-To Videos. This section contains task-specific videos that demonstrate how to perform debugging techniques on embedded Linux systems. Please check back as additional videos will be added to this series over time. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For more information, refer to the links below, including a link to the Debugging Embedded Linux training series. If you have any questions about this training or the training series, please refer to the EDE Community Forums for Embedded Linux at ede.ti.com.